Today I'm going to make lentils with sweet potatoes. I have one cup of lentils here. I'm using red lentils today. And these lentils have been soaking for about 20 minutes. I also have two and a half cups of uh, sweet potatoes cut into small cubes. Uh, this dish can be eaten as soup by itself, or um, I usually serve it as a side dish with naan or rice, um, and it tastes great. Uh, it's very nutritious, it's delicious, and it's very easy to make. Let us start. I saute my whole spices and then I add a cup of chopped onion. Once the onions are translucent, I'll go ahead and add my sweet potatoes. I'll cook this mixture for about five minutes till sweet potatoes are uh, slightly cooked. They don't have to be soft at this point. And then I'll go ahead and add my ground spices. I have two teaspoons of ground coriander, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a teaspoon of uh, ground ginger. Mix everything. Uh, it's very fragrant at this point already. Now I'll go ahead and add my uh, lentils, one cup of soaked red lentils. Uh, I soaked it for about 20 minutes. Mix everything. And of course, add it a cup of uh, chopped tomatoes. I'm using uh, canned tomatoes today. You can use canned or fresh as per your liking. I didn't have any fresh ones, so I use it. I use the canned ones. Uh, some salt to taste. I'm using one teaspoon. That should be enough for me and my family. Three cups of water. We'll bring it to a boil and then cover it and cook it on low for about 30 to 35 minutes till everything is tender and this looks done to me but i like the sauce to be a little thicker so i'm going to mash some sweet potatoes not all of them just some of them and stir everything At this point, you can taste it to make sure all the spices and the salt are to your liking. Top it with some fresh chopped coriander. And it's ready. I'll dish it out and I'm going to uh, garnish it with a freshly grated coconut. Um, I uh, grated myself just by some fresh coconut, uh, peel it and then just use regular grater to grate it. Uh, if you don't have a uh, coconut, you can just top it with some garam masala, maybe some toasted nuts, and it's done.